Hi everybody, welcome. I'm Joanne and this is Joanne Ralston Art. Welcome to my channel. I greatly appreciate you being here. Um, if you saw my live that I did Wednesday night, um, you saw that I did the technique that Fiona started and then Mina Villegas picked up on it, then Brian's Upper Artistry picked up, and then Nate Bright Art picked up. And they're all trying it. Well, it's so pretty that I had to try it. And um, I had a couple fails. I did it as a traveling straight pour and it doesn't work as good um, as you saw in, in one of my videos. Um, it's too straight lining. It doesn't have any uh, circular movement and so forth. So when I did my live, I tried it the way Brian's Upper Artistry had done it that day on his premiere and he did it using his, um, I can't think of my words tonight, um, using his spinner to move the canvas for him so that he got the look he wanted to get. So I did that in my live and I really, really had a great effect. And it turned out gorgeous, I love it. So I want to do it again, and I'm going to do some different colors. I got anxious and didn't realize what I was doing, but I've already filled the cup. And uh, what I used was, um, I had some left over, so I used Victoria's Muscadine Wine, and I've got Artist Loft uh, Green Yellow. And I have in there um, Liquitex Basics, um, Dioxide, is it Dioxide or Dioxine? I just can't get it right. Purple, anyway. And then I have Pebio's um, Iridescent Gold. And I had to try a gold in there. Had to do it. I had it already mixed up, so I had to try it. And then my Amsterdam's titanium white is in the center. So you'll see that when I pull you down to the canvas. So anyway, we're gonna do it again and see what we get with these colors. I'm really anxious to give it a try. So let me pull you down to the canvas and we'll get pouring. Oh, I know what else I was going to tell you. When you do this pour, um, this is the five chamber cup, you want to pour from up high. You don't want to use your usual low pour because you're wanting to try to get this feathery look that almost looks like lightning bolts um, going through the painting. So you want to get this feathery look and it, it's different from the usual look from pores. So you wanna hold it up high. And unfortunately, the way I have my camera, there's no way for you to see me holding it up high. So I am probably holding it up about 18 inches, 18 to 24 inches, so that it will really go down and feather out. And you kind of want a medium to thick consistency, depending on what you like. But anyway, isn't that a pretty cup? All right, let's do it. I'm starting her out and I'm gonna just slowly circle it and then after I get so far I am going to come 
to the outside and go around the outside. And you want to keep it up high. Oh, I like that yellow green in there. I'm not the best at these pours with these cups. I'm getting better. I'm working on it, practice more often, and I'm starting to get some really cool results. And, uh, but I haven't totally mastered it yet, but I have gotten better to where I get some pretty paintings. All right. Oh, I like how she's looking. And I like how that gold is playing in there. All right. Let's see if we can get the rest out of this cup. Okay, I'm gonna come down so I can try to get some more paint out of this cup. That will probably go off. And I'm not gonna spin this, I'm going to tilt it. Um, I have it on the spinner so I can turn it easily and uh, get my motion that I want. Um, Just let my cup turn upside down. Um, as I said before in the live, what I do with my cups, if I don't have a sink to get to right away, which I don't because I'm in the basement, first I turn my cup up on my upside down on my canvas. And then afterwards, I spray it with my spritz bottle of water up inside and kind of move it around and uh, then I turn it upside down on a folded paper towel and just let it drain until I do go upstairs. Um, it's also good to do that even if you have just a bucket, which I usually keep down here. I keep a soapy bucket and a clean water bucket and I still do this even before I put it in the bucket. So it gets the main part of the paint out of there. Just let that percolate a second. Okay. Well, let's start putting a flow extender on. All right, we're ready to tilt. Let's get it started. Tell you what, I don't usually do it the first time, but I'm going to go ahead. Since we're that way, go ahead and get that corner taken care of. Bring it all back to the middle and head for the other corner. Yeah. 
hold on. Let me get, I'm gonna hold on to my push pins so I don't mess up the sides. Okay, here we go. Got that corner. Back to the middle. And then we'll go ahead and head down this side. Let's take it back to the other corner. I like that center, it's different than my other ones. Here we go, come on. How many of you talk to your paint? <laughs> Let's work on the composition a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting out of camera. I kind of want to open up what's up here at the top. and bring down a little close up down at the bottom. Yeah. Let me look at it. Let me set this down. Oh, that's kind of different. That green yellow did different. I like how the corners are stretched. Oh, I like it. I think I'm going to leave it right where it is. I like the big boulder cells here in the middle and then all the lines you can see all the colors right here in the lines right there I would pick this up you guys but every time I do it never fails I do something to it and I don't want to do anything to it 
So I get close up when you get dry results. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you like the painting. I love the colors. Um, it's not quite what I expected after what happened on the one from the live, but I still like it. And you guys, let me know what you think. And stay tuned for dry results. I'll be bringing them to you. So don't go anywhere. Bye. Here we are for dry results. It's not all the way dry. Still some drying in the middle to do, but it's pretty cool. Um, the camera is filtering out the sun. Let me see if I can re... No, I'm going to get my shadow in it. No, it's still going to filter it out. But that gold is just glistening. And as you can see, I tinkered. I shouldn't have put the swirlies in there. I should have kept them straight. But, um, I just saw it needed something right there and I should have just brought it straight out. You can see a little bit glistening gold right there. The lines are pretty cool. The colors are pretty cool. It's different. It's, it's not your typical color palette, but I still think it turned out pretty cool. And that center, look at all that gold. Bring you into the center. And I broke up those boulder cells. It just was looking too plain. So there she is. It'd be cool for a girl's room. I kind of see, look, right here. This is like a cat's face. And there's a cat ear. And then the cat's body. And then the cat's tail. It's like a kitty cat laying there. And I like the Uh, the spraying out of the colors around the side. It just looks kind of neat. Okay, everybody. Tell me what you think down in the comments. And please, please, please hit that thumbs up button. That helps a channel grow so much if you just hit the thumbs up button. Share if you know anybody that would enjoy this type of painting. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. I'd greatly appreciate it. And everybody take care. I love you. Y'all have a good week. Bye-bye.